Why is modern art so bad? Masters have the stone and turn to create orcs that inspire and uplift us. Be it Leonardo, Rembrandt, or Piestart. They have achieved the highest levels of excellence by improving upon the orcs of master of the previous generation. Without a doubt, they have continued to seek the highest level possible. But there was a major turn of events on the way to the 21st century. The once known profound and beautiful art pieces were replaced by the new ugly and enforcedly made. And today, unfortunately, these silly and hopeless pieces are known as a contemporary art. The masterpieces David by Michelangelo was called out of a rock and now what we see is the 340 ton rock at Los Angeles County Museum known as a levitated mass which displays it ever so proudly. How did our standards fall so miserably? Why caused the century old ascent towards artistic excellence to die out? Actually, it did not end. Instead, it was pushed out. In the late 19th century, a group named the Impressionists protested against the French Academy de Beaux-Arts and its call for traditional standards. While their intentions are not very clear, they certainly encourage the beauty is the eye of the beholder mentality. Now, I can't say people love the Impressionists. Low intendance speaks for itself. Similar to most revolutions, the first group produced work at a decent level. Monet, Renoir and Degas sustained the basic of discipline and execution. But with each group that came after, there was a considerable fall in standards. Only the concept of personal expression was left. Jakob Rosenberg, who was a respectable art historian, wrote about the quality of art that how it is not a matter of personal judgment, but also, to a high degree, a matter of agreement among artists and trained observers. However, the concept of universal standards in art is now usually confronted with a great opposition by contemporary money-driven critics who advocate for whoever writes the largest check. Contemporary art is complicated and there are several things I disagree about it. One of them is the audacity of any fall of calling themselves an artist. Art is a beautiful craft and it takes patience and practice to master the technique. Before contemporary art, artists will take years of dedication for perfection and create beautiful pieces to uplift the public. Art is not something that you can learn overnight. The skill has to be earned by dedication. Sure, everyone came, uh, came up, with, up with interesting ideas, but what sets anyone apart is their dedicated hard work. When I talk about artists, I include instrumentalists, painters, and photographers who are outstanding in what they do. Art is supposed to touch the soul and have a great influence on you. But sadly, we live in a time where any garbage on canvas is considered as art. Art takes you to a magical phase where you can feel the light within yourself. What can garbage on a canvas make you feel like that? Everything cannot be art, and people need to realize it. 
the years of dedication by artists on their canvases are just being replaced by cheap hacks, which causes the motivation among them. Be it an actual piece of fine art or just a self-called artist trying to show off his blank canvas, everyone gets appreciated and treated equally. In my opinion, the self-called artist never really know which direction to go in. Over the last few years, however, I have noticed that uh, fear and fear people are willing or able to offer the names of their favorite critics. I ask you only one question. Do you read any art criticism? If you ask them whether they work as any shelf life, you may get an interesting answer. Jerry Saltz once observed that art critics are very here, then very gone. Really? How do you explain that? We certainly can show our feelings through the art we admire at museum or buy at the galleries. If a product does not sell, it won't to be produced since the gallery is just a business. It all depends on the demand of the public. This way, we will be able to restore the real art world and rejoice what we know is good. So, let's celebrate what we know is good and ignore what we know is not. I'm Gabriel Barbu, fine artist.